Unapowekelea watu mikono, one way is to lay hand on the shoulder or the side of the arm. Ya kwanza unaweza wekelea mikono kwenye mabega ama kwenye sehemu ya mkono. And then another way is lay hand on the spine, the back spine. Ama njia ya pili ni kuwekelea mtu mkono kwenye uti wa mgongo. For the people of the same sex you can put your finger in the at the place kama the center wewe, of the chest. Kama wewe ni mume na unaombea mume unaweza weka mkono kwenye e, katikati ya kifua chake. Now for pastors who has handled their life, their life is clean. Na kwa yule mchungaji ambaye maisha yake ni safi, they can lay hand on the head. Unaweza wekelea mtu mikono kwenye kichwa. Open a heart to God. Na unafungua moyo wako kwa Mungu. Have you noticed pastor, have you noticed when I lay hand on your head and other parts of the body are there differences? Yes, can you tell the difference? When he lays his hands on upon my head, there's power that makes me to feel somehow weak. Okay. Mm. So, and the head is the strongest. So, but why most people don't lay hand on the head? Because if you have sins or, or negative emotions, or evil spirit, it will pass to the person easier. Now also there's another way of laying hands. Now relax. Tap on the back. Una una pepeta kwenye una papasa kwenye mgongo wa. Because when the hand hits with a little speed, manake kama mkono uta mguza ukiwa unatembea haraka. Especially when people experience the joy of the Lord, aswa sana kama mtu ana. You can use this method. Kama mtu amehisi kucheka kwa bwana ama ur. People experience joy more. Kwa watu ambao wanaihisi furaha ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you Lord Jesus. Now, do you feel any difference when I tap on your back? The joy of the Lord, uh-huh. So, there are different ways we can lay hands. Kwa hivyo kuna sample tofauti za kuwekea watu mikono. And then you can practice na unaweza iweka kwenye mazoezi. And after a while, na kwa muda kidogo you get used to the full Holy Spirit. Sasa utakuja uzoe kazi ya Roho Mtakatifu. When I pray for people, ninapoombea watu, in a very short time, katika muda tu kidogo, I know how open the person is to the Holy Spirit. Najua huyu mtu aku amejifungua vipi kwa Roho Mtakatifu. That came from experience. Hiyo inatokana na uzoevu. Okay, God bless you all. Mungu awabariki wote. So we can use you know laying on on of hands. Kwa hivyo tunaweza tumia kuwekea watu mikono for Evangelism, <laughs> to bring people to Christ, kuleta watu kwa Kristo, and also to raise up the spiritual life of people, na pia kuinua maisha ya watu kiroho, and also to empower people to serve God, na pia kufanya watu kuwa chochea kufanya kazi ya Mungu. It's a great weapon, ni kitu kikubwa mbali kwenye tendeka, and we need to learn to open our spirit to love God. Ni lazima tujifunze kujifungua kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Before we can be filled with the Holy Spirit more and more. Kabla tujazwe na Roho Mtakatifu zaidi na zaidi. And very easily. Na kwa uraisi. Now demonstrate. Na sasa nitafanya. How I open my spirit. I open my heart to God. <laughs> oh ha <laughs> ha. Now I can keep going for a long time. But I can stop it instantly. I can also feel power from this belly. That's what Jesus said. The living water will flow from the belly. That my whole person is empowered and full of joy and power. So when I preach, very often I will open my heart to God and let God speak to me. So you can go higher and higher and easier and easier. Every time I pray, I can feel the presence of God. Ah, <laughs> and it's enjoyable. <laughs>